Hey everybody, welcome back to Checkpoint XP on campus, your number one resource for collegiate esports. And you know, it's it's so hilarious because uh, on last week's episode, uh, we did a segment about the EFUSE uh, coaches poll that came out where a collection of coaches uh, went down and ranked what were some of the best teams uh, in three major esports, League of Legends, Overwatch, and Rocket League. And we thought, why isn't there a media poll? And we had to remember because we're the only college esports media. So we're going to take so advantage guess, of it. So we're going to do a poll. Um, and so we took the same three esports and talked about who are the best schools. We're going to start with Overwatch because Jacob is our big brain with Overwatch. Jacob, who are the 10 best overwatch teams actually let's just do five in the interest of time who are the five top teams in overwatch in the country okay these top five probably won't surprise you but it is uh number one maryville and then northwood uh hu storm utah and uc irvine i actually put above dallas and because so, dallas i have Ooh. at number six so what i'm gonna say is that i think irvine needs to play a lot more they have not really Agreed. played in many invitationals i do think they're very good but I don't know if they're better than Utah. I don't know if they can hang around with HU Storm because we haven't seen them play. But yeah. I think those are the five teams that absolutely own the nation. Yeah, I think that's a pretty solid list. Uh, and next, we are going to look at League of Legends. Now, this was something that uh, I came up with. League is one of my wheelhouses. And the top five teams in the country to me are Maryville, Harrisburg, Columbia, Grandview, and Winthrop. Now, I know some people are going to say, where's UC Irvine? Where's Illinois? What's laying? They are on this list. But I think, again, far and away, Maryville and Harrisburg are the two top teams mm -hmm. in the nation, and Columbia is very close, but what we saw at the Harrisburg Invitational only proved to me that Maryville's A and B and Harrisburg's A and B team are so far ahead of the rest of the country that I am not entirely sure that there is even room for some of these other schools to 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 make a lane in. I mean, the finals, the the semifinals for the Harrisburg Invitational, both were Maryville versus Harrisburg. You really can't say these are not the two best schools in this esport anymore. You can't do. It. Yeah, really. The only other team that really could like flirt with that space is Columbia. But even then they're out just like, you know, the entrance of the mountain. They're not and while, you know, exactly. the A and B teams are at the peak. And I do like your Winthrop pick. I think it's a little, you know, little oh, you know, Winthrop's better than these other programs. And I like that because Winthrop's cool. They're 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 good kids. <laughs> they're good kids uh and lastly we are gonna take a quick look at rocket league and guys i know we don't talk enough about rocket league we are going to work on that i am working feverishly on talking about more rocket league because to be perfectly honest with you uh there's a lot of great rocket league happening specifically in college but i want to break down some of these top teams and number one you got northwood again they have put so much into their esports program that they are the top school. So Northwood, number one. Then we have Arizona at number two, North Texas, uh, UCF, and UCF Green. Yes, I put them on there twice and I don't care because they are two very different teams that play in a very similar style, but you can still tell that there are some differences there. I really enjoy uh, watching these top five teams, especially Northwind and Arizona. They both have been so, so dominant, but there is a team on this list that's been quite disappointing, and that's Akron. Akron went into the lot, a lot of these preseason lists as the best school, the school to watch out for, and Northwood just came and kicked the chair out from under them and took that top spot, and Akron has not been performing up to the standards that we expect. So uh, I think Akron needs to step it up. There's a few schools ahead of Akron. But again, I look at this list and I go, uh, no California teams. I think, no, we got one California team, a lot of centralization into the Midwest and in the South. I think, guys, what we're starting to see is California is losing its grip on at least the college esports scene. Yeah, well, Norris, you know, I got to talk about your list because you, you think you're sneaky, but really you're not because... Um 
I think you put USF and USF Green here because number six is Ohio State. And I don't think you want to talk about that because then you also allude to, oh, yeah, there's uh, there's other teams above Akron, the only one being Ohio State. I, I, <laughs> I see you, sir. I see you. But no, no, I, it's, I, it's, I, listen, <laughs> listen, Ohio State is a very good team, but I have to put UCF Green above yeah. them because of goal differential. That Ohio State has let in more goals. It's mm. as simple as that. Yeah, no, and I, I think this is a good group of schools because, again, I think North Texas is a program that isn't really – recognized enough and then Arizona you know they were actually a big heroes of the dorm team back in the day so it's cool to see Arizona start to like make an appearance again in esports because they've been they've been gone for a couple years really um yeah and so I think this is a Rocket League's a great esport because these are schools that you besides Northwood you generally don't see these schools be really good same with Akron and Oregon and all these other schools it's cool to see them get into the light where they should Absolutely. And so that is our uh, Checkpoint XP official esports media poll. Uh, if there's other media out there who want to be polled on this, let me know. I have no problem with including your opinions. But that is going to be that. And we hope to see a lot of movement on these lists because the more these lists move, the more parity there is in college esports.